Good afternoon, everyone. In first place, I want to thank the organizing committee for choosing my video for this presentation. And also, I want to thank to my professors, Jose Ramon Aparicio and Edwin Martinez, with whom this procedure was done. On this occasion, I wish to present a case about endoscopic ultrasound guided portal pressure gradient measurement. For this presentation, I don't have conflict of interest. Okay, let's go with the presentation. This case is about a 50 years old male patient with a past medical history of chronic liver disease in abdominal ultrasound. In endoscopy, this patient showed small sized esophageal varices, and in laboratory, showed mild anemia and the count of platelets uh, was in the lower limit of the normal value. The plan with this patient was a study protocol for US guided PPG measurement. It's important to list the material which are necessary for this procedure. In first place, we need a pressure monitor. The pressure monitor it's important to see the different measurements in the different veins. We need to the pressurization bag, and we use a 22 gauge FNA needle to perform the puncture in the different veins. We use two uh, heparin diluted saline, and finally, it's more important the, that the system is zeroed at the mid axillary line. In this photograph, you can see the system more closely. Okay, let's start with the video. In the first place, it's important to identify the main liver landmarks. These are the portal vein, the inferior cava vein, and the right hepatic vein. These structures are very important to identify different liver segments. In this case, the segment 1, the segment 7, and the segment 8, below the right hepatic vein. If you perform a counterclockwise torque, you will find the left hepatic vein. The left hepatic vein is another important structure because with left hepatic vein, you can identify other two important liver segments. The segment two above the left hepatic vein and the segment three uh, below of left hepatic vein. The left hepatic vein is important because it's one of the veins which the puncture will be performed. Here you can see the puncture of the left hepatic vein. This puncture should be performed with 22 gauge FNA needle. After the puncture, we should uh, flush one milliliter of heparin diluted saline thrown to the needle. And whereas the heparin saline is flushing, we need to check the pressure monitor. In this case, the pressure of the left hepatic vein was 13 millimeters of mercury. Don't forget, you need to perform three different punctures in the left hepatic vein with three different measurements, and you need to use the mean of these values. For example, if the different measurements was 12, 13, and 14, you need to use the mean of this, uh, in this case, 13 millimeters of mercury. An alternative to the puncture of the left hepatic vein is the puncture of the inferior cava vein. This puncture is easier than previous because the size of the ICB is bigger than the left hepatic vein. But the technique is the same. You need to flush uh, the heparin diluted saline and whereas the, the flash is performed, you need to check the pressure monitor. And in the most of the case, the pressure in both cases uh, will be the same. In this case, 
13 millimeters of mercury. In the second part of this procedure, you need to identify another important structure. In this case, is the portal vein. The portal vein has a fish eye appearance, and the portal vein is very important because with this structure, you can identify other two liver segments. In this case, the segment 3 in the left of the portal vein and the segment 4B in the right of the portal vein. The puncture of the portal vein has the same technique of the previous puncture. In this case, with 22 gauge FN needle, the flashing of the heparin diluted saline, but in this case, the value of the pressure will be higher than the previous puncture. In our patient, it was 32 millimeters of mercury. Okay, but it is important to mention that in all of the cases, it is necessary to perform three punctures in each one of the veins. Three punctures in hepatic vein or inferior cava vein, and three punctures in portal vein. And you need to use the mean of these measurements. To calculate the, uh, the PPG is a simple math operation. In this case, you need to subtract the mean of the measurements in portal vein minus the mean of the measurement in hepatic vein. For our patient, was 32 in portal vein minus 13 in hepatic vein, and the final value of the PPG was 19 millimeters of mercury, what represents the portal hypertension. Finally, I wish to mention some challenge during the procedure. It's important to mention the material. The material uh, is important because it's not a conventional US, and it's important the search, uh, the suitable puncture sites, you need, you need to know the, the different liver landmarks. Uh, remember that the puncture of the hepatic vein is more difficult than the puncture of the cava vein. The reason is obvious. The, the hepatic vein is smaller, the size of the hepatic vein is smaller than the cava vein. Uh, therefore, take in account the accuracy at the time of performing the puncture of the hepatic vein. A caution. It's important to avoid an intentional puncture of the esophageal of the gastric varices to avoid the adverse events uh, or uh, avoid the, the bleeding, for example. And a recommendation in case of severe ascites, consider the previous or a previous paracentesis. Well, I hope you enjoyed my presentation and thank you so much for your attention.